Hello, welcome. My name is Dr. J. Michael Bennett. I am a board certified orthopedic sports medicine specialist. And welcome to the whiteboard series. Today we're just actually going to discuss one uh, topic or one question we get quite a bit of in our clinic is um, most patients when they come in, their primary complaint is, my knee just popped and now it's swollen, what do I do? We're going to go over some things today regarding a popping sensation in the knee and what exactly that means. So first thing you'll notice is, is usually it's going to be painful and you will feel or actually hear sometimes a audible uh, pop in the knee, usually associated with a twisting or turning motion or sometimes occasionally from a direct blow or impact. Okay, so real quick we're going to go over some of the basic anatomy of the knee. I've already drawn this on, on the bright whiteboard here. This is your knee, this is the femoral condyle, and this is the tibial plateau of the knee. Other possibilities for a pop in the knee is a patient that comes in and says, uh, that describes a pop or a locking sensation in the knee. They usually don't have a high impact injury, but let's just say they're walking in the mall or they do a twisting or turning rotation motion or they're playing tennis and also their knee catches or, or gets stuck and then it becomes very hard to straighten and it becomes painful until they get a pop. And that can mean that something's actually getting caught in the joint itself that's keeping them from extending the knee and that oftentimes means it might be a cartilage or a meniscus injury. Now the meniscus are two discs within the knee. There's one disc on the inside, the medial meniscus, and then there's a lateral meniscus. You can have a tear in either of those discs. Uh, they are actually cartilage discs. So this cartilage over time can get soft, and, it, it, and it can, all it can take is just a twisting motion uh, that can actually create a tear. So the discs here, this is the medial meniscus, and this is the lateral meniscus. One meniscus on the inside, and one on the outside of the knee joint, and you can have a tear right down the middle like this and on this view looking at the knee straight on like this it looks like that if you look on the knee straight down from top down like that it looks like this so these are the meniscus if you do have a tear sometimes you can get a tear on the inner one-third of the meniscus like that which would create a flap or you can get a tear on the outer one-third which can create a large flap. We call that a bucket handle tear because it actually looks like a bucket handle when it flips up and gets caught in the joint because it gets stuck here. This whole piece of disc flips up into the joint and actually causes the knee to lock. Depending on what type of tear it is, it's going to determine your treatment. Uh, some of these tears are repairable, some of them aren't. But then again, it's up to your orthopedic surgeon to do a proper evaluation, get an MRI and determine what kind of tear you have based on your activity status, your age, uh, will determine, uh, as well as the type of tear, will determine the type of treatment you receive for that meniscus tear. So if you feel a painful locking sensation in the knee, the knee swells, um, you, may, you definitely need to be evaluated by an orthopedic surgeon just to make sure that there's nothing serious going on within the knee, such as the meniscus tear. If you have any further questions, be, feel free to visit my website at uh, www.jmichaelbennett.com uh, or www.orthopedicsportsdoctor.com or feel free to call my office at 281-633-8600. Thank you very much.